Okay, so there's going to be two main things I have to mention during this part at the beginning. So, also I'm getting kind of hungry. So I'm going to have to like, you know... Jesus Christ, snake. Okay, food. I don't even know if the volume's good, truthfully. Uh, a tarantula. Uh, Tide Cobra, because I know that's, at least that's good. Oh my god, it got rotten. Great. Cure. Uh, venom. Food poisoning. And... There we go. I guess it wasn't food poisoning. Okay, so I... Am... You, you'll notice the screen looks different. I am testing something because I got... A, I'm changing my setup a little bit. What it'll hopefully do is make it a bit more streamlined to record consoles. Instead of having to keep switching my HDP VR to component, composite, HDMI, my HDP VR will now completely be set to HDMI. I have another device that I'm going to be putting hooking things into. Cost me a bit much, but anyways, I'm kind of trying to emulate more of the how it would look on a CRT TV, a PS2 game. I'm just hoping the darkness isn't too bad. I can always up the brightness a little bit. It looks fine on my TV. On the computer, a bit darker, but I'll let you guys decide. I'm kind of still getting the settings going. So just give me a pair of what you think uh, when you watch this part of the video if I need to change things. This is more of its native resolution, except for the fact that I just have to leave here. There we go. Now it's the perfect size. Second of all, First, well, I guess three things. I always have to keep resetting my commentary sync, so I don't know if I just should keep rendering every video and just... I hate having to render videos when I don't have to, but if the commentary keeps unsyncing itself for some reason, and I have to keep changing the delay, it's almost like I might as well um, do the commentary separately. Also, because getting the audio levels are sometimes hard, you know? Because I don't know which games have good audio levels, which don't, so it means I might have... And even then, from dev from speakers to headphones seems to vary too, so it's hard to get good audio levels all the time. I need all your feedback on this, so let me know if things are good or bad on whichever department. Third of all, this is not the save I had last time. I actually went through and um, redid the previous part. I came out with a few more inventory, though I did use up quite a bit of other things. But I did manage to actually sneak by. So now I'm continuing through this part, which I have no idea what's happening, so... I look a little... what, bug? Anyways, it sucks my snake went rotten, and I have a feeling that maybe the game shut off affects it. So now I don't know at all what's over here. Well, there's a trap here. Which means... I wonder if D mines are also around. I guess I should also change my camouflage. Oh yeah, that's the uniform. I can go plus 15 in black. Oh, because it's nighttime. And face don't matter. I'm zombie snake. Rah! Zombie. I literally don't know what's what over here. Here's your contact. Major Zero. Snake, the lab where Sokolov is being held is to the north of that forest. Keep on heading north. Thank you. Anything else, Major? Snake, watch out. It seems that forest is rigged with a number of traps. I've already seen it. Most of the traps seem to be triggered by tripping a rope stretched across the ground. Don't just run around like a fool. Keep an eye on the ground and watch where you step. Some ropes may be placed so they're hidden in the vegetation. Be extra careful when you're cutting through the underbrush. Cutting underbrush? If you use That's the, the directional thing? buttons to move around stalking, you should be able to spot the traps before you step on them. Use stalking to move safely through suspicious looking areas. It's called stalking? Okay. I do not want to talk to Sigint almost because I know it's going to be a long conversation. I you found some Russian glow caps. Mm. The Russian glow cap is a kind of luminescent fungus, a mushroom that glows in the dark. Why would a mushroom glow in the dark? It's bioluminescent, just like a firefly. It uses the so-called luciferin-luciferase reaction. To put it simply, 
Luciferin reacts with luciferase in the presence of magnesium 2 plus ions, breaking it down into oxyluciferin and carbon dioxide. The carbonyl groups in the oxyluciferin are initially in an electrical excited state. When they return to their base state, they give off light. Did you get all that? Not really. Oh. By the way, does that mushroom recharge your batteries when you eat it? Huh? I mean, it seems like if you ate a glowing mushroom, it might recharge your batteries or something. Uh, sure. Snake, your batteries are organic batteries. They produce electricity by utilizing the potential difference between cells. Organic batteries are known for their highly efficient energy conversion, but they still rely on chemical reactions between proteins and enzymes to... So you're saying they'll get recharged? <laughs> Believe what you want. Great. Right. Are you an idiot, Snake? Oh, she's not here. Nope, she's not here. Okay, then. For the moment, she ain't here. I wish I knew where North was. I guess I should look at my map. Oh, North is that way. And where am I headed? Some are hidden in the vegetation, huh? Well, that just cheeky. I like the way it looks on my TV, though. I think it might smooth out some of the uh, graphical imperfections. What am I looking at here? It doesn't appear to be any... This is not a big area. Like, what is this thing I'm looking at? What is that? I don't know what that is. I, I'm afraid to even touch it. How about we don't? We'll go around it. Rabbit. What are you? Noodles! That's a mushroom. Hey, hey rabbit. Hey rabbit! <laughs> I just killed a rabbit. What? Serum? Rabbits give serum? Where am I going? Oh, I'm close, I think. It's probably just an introductory area or something. Hey, look, I wonder if I can... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. You press the action button, right? Yeah, action button. And then you go across. And then you can... That's not how it... Maybe I can't. Maybe this one? One of them's got. There's a, there's a purpose for going up there, isn't there? I would think. Like, no, forget it then. Unless it's gonna be a boss area. I mean, if it's hidden in the vegetation. But this is not the type of vegetation you're talking about, right? What am I doing? I'm like right there. I think. Am I? Great. Well. How do you... Oh. Well, wasn't that nice. This is where I have to go, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm at the lab exterior. Outside walls. Well, now I know I have to sneak inside for sure. Sokolov is inside the lab. Look for a way in and use it to infiltrate the lab. I get it. You man of very little words. Sokolov is inside the lab. Wow. Okay, fine. That's all you tell me? Hey, you. I got a rabbit. You got some instant noodles, huh? Instant noodles? Uh-huh. Yeah. It was invented in Japan just recently. Add some hot water and it's ready to eat. It's cheap and can be stored for a long time. And besides, it's delicious. It's like a miracle food. Wow. Weeb. Speaking of which. What? Yeah. Are you going to eat that? I was planning on it, yeah. Oh, all right. And he'll eat them dry. No, that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? I was just going to say that if you weren't going to eat it, you should bring it back to me. 
I've always wanted to try some. Why are there instant noodles in Russia? Is that just so we can have some weave stuff going on? Ah, you're using the survival knife. Yeah. yeah. This thing provides oh, all the bare essentials I need to survive. Ugh. Every weapon I have equipped, he's going to talk about, right? I made you. That was a work of art. I chucked it away, okay? Matches and fish hooks and thread and stuff in the grip. Sorry to have to tell you this, but that thing is useless in a fight. No way. Very way. Yeah. When the grip is hollowed out like that, there's not as much space to stabilize the blade. So the joint between the blade and the grip. Oh is man. That makes it easier to break. I, get I don't lose. I don't learn right. my lesson. With your knife, you don't have to worry about it breaking, no matter how much you swing it around. Good. So the important thing is durability. Man, I gotta write this stuff down. Next time. No one ever thought of I'll durability in a knife before. Go in the sheath instead. Huh. Whatever. Basically, any weapon I have on me, he's probably gonna talk about. Now, there's guards here. Where's the darn guards? Oh boy, dogs. Uh, what am I supposed to do again? I can trank it. My silencer is not doing pretty, uh, pretty well there. Problem is, I mean, them dog guards are gonna really cramp my style. Really cramp my style. Also, a uh, regular guard. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello, bud. Do I want to hit you in the head? Problem is the guard, the, the, the dog. We have a bit of a problem here. What am I supposed to do again? Maybe someone will tell me. Hey, tell me about the dogs again. I see you've caught a European rabbit. Oh, hey, European rabbit. The European rabbit is said to have come from the Mediterranean region originally, but nowadays they're found all over the world. They've been used since ancient times as a source of food, so it might be worth catching them. <laughs> I have one. Rabbits are known to eat their own excrement. Ew. They eat their own That's crap. That's right. It's called cecal feces. When the rabbit eats fiber, the fiber is fermented cecal in the feces. rabbit's appendix, or I'm going to use that word from now on. into a nutritious substance full of vitamins. The rabbit excretes the substance and then eats it again to absorb the nutrients. That's Man. a good trick. I think I'll give it a try. <laughs> Rabbits and humans don't work the... I'm just kidding. You really thought I was going to eat it? You eat everything else! Oh, yeah. Even I wouldn't do that. Oh, we... Snake I... has standards How now. Seagull feces taste? What? Ah! No, I'm just kidding. Oh. That one, I was actually not just kidding. That one, I was going to be serious but I was playing around. Tell me about the dogs! What do Set I do again? Is inside the lab. Oh, Look shut up, Zero. Shut up. There was something I was supposed to do, and I forgot what it was because I play this two separately. And he's way close to the dog. And if I miss his head, he's going to notice something. So that's also kind of sucky. Well, maybe let's go more towards this way. How's my coverage here? 80% apparently, except when I'm moving. Well, I also have to find an, a way in. Where's the vulnerability in this thing? There's only one guard, it looks like. Or there's two, I don't know. He shouldn't really be able to see me here if I'm 80% right now. Of course, he could hear me. Ah, oh, nope, there's another one. I should get rid of this mine thing. Uh, well, that won't really help the sensor. Oh, look, life med. I think that's what I've been trying to... I have one out of five because it's covered up. Can't use a box in this way. And a box just stand out. Everything's dead. The batteries are dead. Goddamn dog here. 
Well then, electrical fence and guards out the wazoo. Hey, look, there's something there. At least I'm 80%. The zombie face makes it complete. My best bet... Oh, there's another one there. My best bet would take out that guy, that guy, the dog, and then the other guy. The question is, will my silencer work? I mean, will I have enough silencer? My best bet would be to get more silencer. But, of course, I can't guarantee that that's going to happen. Look, I'm coming with a game plan before I charge in, so that's why I'm like this. See, if I take him out there, that's kind of risky. Like I said, if I take out that guy first who's over that side, more where the wall is, then this guy eventually, where the dog can't even make its way there, then the dog, then the other guys, or I do the other guys first, and then I shoot the dog in the head. I mean, I can't... Without radar, I have to monitor the situation. I can't just rush out. See, I don't know. I think he's too close to the dog right now. Right now, I would could totally take this guy out. I could totally do it. I could totally do it. Alright, you. It's kind of risky, isn't it? See? There we go. One down. Of course, that destroys my silencer. Of course, hoping there's no other guards back there. What are you? Please be a sans SP MK22. Well, I have two now. At least there's that. Hey, you. I want to kill the snake. I need some ration. I'm not very. Also, just kill the snake so that he gets out of my way and doesn't bite me. The snake B. All right. Well then. So, if my sans is gonna blow up. See, now I can wait for this guy to come. I need silencer for this, because I... I got one times... Wait, if it's times one... How does it work? If it's times one, do you have any in backup? And does it still blow up? Because I don't want it to blow up. I got my plan going. The dog has to go because as soon as it gets a whiff of me. This guy's going to come closer eventually. And then I can... He's going to come close eventually. Hopefully the guy over there won't be seen. As soon as you get within my sights, you will get headshotted with the trank. How about as soon as you pass this point, you shall go to sleep. There you go. There you go. Amazing, isn't it? Now you should be far away from the dog. Dogs don't work on sight, they work on smell, you know. I think. Now, a few things to wonder is about the guard on that side. Am I safer taking out the guard or the dog first?
Hmm. Hmm. The gate's wide open. Is it? No, it's not. It looked like it was. See, now I don't even see the dog. Where is he? Where is the dog? Over there. God damn it. Let's go back a little bit. If I stand up, what am I looking at? Really? Hungry again. Probably tasty. I mean, why wouldn't it be tasty? Taking a risk here. 30% coverage, but... What? Where'd you come from? What the fudge? Did you wake up? It's the enemy. HQ, please respond. <gasps> What's going on? Respond. There's something wrong. Support no, there isn't. There's nothing wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong. Yeah. What's wrong? They're asleep. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing here. What's wrong? What's wrong? all they say and eh, you can't see me if I could throw a cobra at you I'd do it right now nothing unusual here nope just a bunch of sleepy dudes so who woke up <sighs> see this is where killing would be good but unfortunately see Okay, here's what I need to figure out now. How the hell does this silencer work? Because I swear I should have another one in here. But I can kill one of them at least. At least one of them dead would be good. Because see, I was afraid he would wake up and he did. Dog. God damn dog. Greg, do I need to do anything to that guy right now? Let's work on this area then. How about that? <sighs> you will die eventually. It's just a matter of when. I got the mark of death on you. I would prefer to kill that dog. But what I'm afraid though is that it's going to explode in this one. Like how can you... Is there a way to switch it? So that... If, if I have a fresh one on me right now... Because I have two in here let's say. Can I like go into the... I can't go further into the gun. So it's going to blow up on me. You know? At some point, it's going to blow up. Wow. Did he really go that far? And if it blows up on me, they're going to know I'm here. See, I could kill that dog right now. Actually, I can't see its head anymore. There we go. Now I would have a clear shot to kill the dog. But not yet. <sighs> I hate this whole thing of the unsureness of the exploding... Sil Why does the silencer even explode? 
like some sort of carbon filter in it. Like it take off, it doesn't take off one notch necessarily per shot. I hate this uneasiness I have. I might as well just head that way or something and hope for the best. Staying around here is not going to do me any favors. Besides, I can't even get in through that way. Oh yeah, I was to go into the trees for the dogs. I remember now. Okay, see that dog's going to head over there. I know that much. There's a leaf stuck on my camera. Alright, see that dog's eventually going to go there and lie down. Nothing. Why am I exposed so much? Camouflage. Plus 20. That changed fast. Woodland. Plus 80. Nothing. See? You are, man. What's wrong with you? I always shoot you in the head. That'll fix you up. Man, he goes super far. See, now... Oh, my God. This whole thing kind of sucks. afraid to shoot him. But first of all, you see a snake here? You see, you take a knife and you stab it. I probably have to jump in across the fence. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. I'm actually in between, I think. So, yeah, I'm in between, so nothing's good. Hmm, as long as I'm in the grassy patch, I think. No, not knife. I so do not want to shoot right now. Especially when he's moving. Oh, it worked. It worked. I still have very little sponsor left, but there's still some. Which means over here I'm safe. I got stuck on something. Which means over here I have free reign, actually. To do whatever the hell I want. Especially when it comes to killing snakes. I'm very good at that. Watch this. Watch. Bam! Here's the thing, though. I gotta kill this thing. Problem is, my sensor there's not very good. Doesn't work. It doesn't work! I can't stab it. I can't shoot it anymore. I definitely gotta use a branch though, I think. To get in. I'm stuck again. Alright, who's next on my hit list? Maybe the other soldier. Uh, I need more camouflage. Hey, if you don't want me to get caught, this is the only way I can do it is by being very sneaky. The dog's got a terrible smell here, it looks like. You know what? Hmm? What? Nothing. At least the dog disappears right away. <laughs> oh, hey. Check this out. God damn! This is HQ. What's going on? Respond. 
Jesus Christ. By the way, how do you apply a new silencer on it? I think I have to do it like... Yep. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Uh, is it gone on this one? Yeah, okay, so now I'm good. So far, nothing. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong, okay? As long as you don't continue further, there's a dead guy. Heh. Heh. This is the perfect opportunity to kill him. God damn it. He walked away. Hmm. Need to change my camo again. Hey man, if you don't want me to get caught, you're gonna it's gonna take a while for me to actually progress. That's the unfortunate part. Oh boy. Changed again. Where are you going? Uh, get off of that. Snake, stop it. All right. Time to do a double kill here. Somehow. Somehow, I have to do a double kill. Eventually, when he reaches here, he's going to get shot, and then once I shoot the other guy, I'm going to have free reign. Assuming I do it correctly. Now I gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna get in. At least the dog like disappears right away. That's a good thing to know. So they don't he doesn't really count as a missing dude. Alright, man. I prefer killing because again, waking up. Mm -mm. The trank is only good for certain circumstances where maybe I know I can kill him later on. Not in a situation like this where I can't risk them waking up and looking, you know. A bit more. Just a bit more. Because that I need you out of sight of that guy. When you pass here, your head shall explode. You won't know what will hit you. See? He doesn't know. In his mind, well, there's nothing in his mind now, because he's dead. Especially with this guy dead too. Hmm, might want to change my camo. With this guy dead, I'll mostly have free reign. See, it's kind of risky to do it right now. Oh, got him. Cool. Now, here's hoping I took care of them. Dog's gone. Now what? Everything here is electrified. Oh, I think I could think of there might be a tree. Oh. That takes care of the vent? No, it doesn't. There's no tree I can climb up. I don't see any vulnerabilities in the fence. Not a single one. Now here's hoping there's no one back there that will come to see this guy. I assume he just woke up. I never saw an extra guy come around. I think that's it. Okay. Issue. I don't know how to get in. 
If I touch the fence, I might fry myself. There's no tree to climb up that I can see. That's how I did it last time. I think I could just open this thing. Oh, this one's not electrified. But I can't just open it. This part probably still is, even if I shoot it. I can't climb up any of these. Hmm. Well, wait. Oh, here's the vulnerability. Ha <laughs> Alright, anything good here? What do we have? SP, oh. That means, all right, uh, okay, I have one for you, and I have another one for you, that's good. So basically, once it goes away, then I have to, like, equip it and stuff again. What do we got? Okay, MK22 bullets. What is this? Nothing? Nothing. What do you got? I guess I could have done it from going under there and trying to like stab him, but whatever. I did it my way. Oh, it's full. More snakes. I don't see anything here. Okay. Uh, no, I wanna. Cause that's a new area, looks like. Any last words anyone wanna tell me? I see you've caught a coral. Uh, I mean, a milk snake. Huh? The milk snake closely resembles the coral snake, but it's actually not venomous. Even oh, so, there you go. There's something new. It bites you, so don't get too close. Hmm. It bites still, so though. So, is there a way to tell the difference between a milk snake and a coral snake? It's pretty difficult. They really do look almost exactly alike. I guess if I had to pick something, I'd say it's that the milk snake is much less aggressive. Okay. Hmm. Ah, I just thought of a better way. You're going to love this. What? Eat it. Eat it? <laughs> yeah. The guide says milk snakes don't taste very good. So let's that find out, right? But if I've already caught and eaten it, what does it matter which kind of snake it was? It doesn't, does it? Shoot, I thought I had a good idea. I don't know what you're going on about. Sokolov's inside. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Enemy appears to be using that door to enter and exit the lab. Think uh -huh. you can sneak in? Sneak in? Give it a shot. Just walks through the door, man. That's all I can really do. Maybe I should also save it. Just so I can get any dialogue. Let me guess, just movies, right? Do you want to save? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm still going to fiddle around with some of the uh, settings on this thing. Uh, and I'm going to try and get a different cable. I don't know if it'll, it won't make too much of a difference to cable, but it might make a little bit. I don't know. I'll see. Snake, have you seen the movie Them? I'm pretty sure you no. told me this one already. I've already heard this one. I do not care then. Oh, that didn't work. How about if I punch the door? Can't punch the door. Uh, major, I can't get in. So there's a high wall around the perimeter of the lab. Climbing over it probably isn't an option. But there must be an entrance somewhere. Keep your eyes open. The best source of information about the facility is the people going in and out of it. Try interrogating one of the enemies about the entrance. Oh, well. To interrogate an enemy, grab him from behind using CQC. And press <laughs> well, the funny thing is, I already uh, kind of... I already kind of killed them all, man. So, I mean, it's not like... Unless someone's going to come out. I doubt it. I already got rid of everyone.
gravity came out, I'd be in big trouble, wouldn't I? So just in case... Can I interrogate a dead guy? That'd be great. Hey you, I hope your camo protects you in here. You too, just in case. I'm gonna have to figure this one out. I'll either have to leave the area and redo it or figure it out on my own. <laughs> right now I got nothing. There's no one to interrogate. This would be the only guy who I would have access to interrogating, I would say. And not a very good job either at it. Ah, oh, hello! I found something. Didn't no, need no interrogation. There we go. See? I can do without it. I'll do interrogate at some point. It's just that I'm not very comfortable getting behind enemies. Because I'm very vulnerable when I do. See, there's not a lot of opportunity unless I get rid of a few of them. Now I can't really see the area. First, I have to make stock of who's here. As you can see, as soon as I get one of them, I'm going to be in complete range of everyone. Which is not fun. Hmm. This would be my best bet to interrogate in theory. As long as he doesn't come into the grass. Which would be kind of unfair. See, now I'd actually be in a good place to do it. Right? What? No one. There's no one here. What the hell, man? How about no? How about I leave? I'm not going to be able to hide, am I? Because they know where I am. They know where I am. Oh, great dog. Dogs are back. Oh, at this rate, I might... I have to like I don't know actually kill people oh well I might have to do this the rough and tough way or die and restart I hate when that happens man I end up on the ground uh, I mean I'm gonna die for sure here Oh well, I'm gonna have to rough and tough it. Wow, how did I do that? I don't even know how I did that one there. What if he was afraid to shoot his comrade? Oh, I don't mean to do that. I, I messed up there. Oh, I'm screwing up a little bit here. Yo, this is not working. They keep, like, regrouping, I think. Is there a guard up there or something? Dude, there's nowhere to go and hide. There's nowhere to go and hide. I'm dead. <sighs> I almost had it. And I don't have that many more death pills I can use, so I can't use them. It's not like I just get them out of nowhere. You see, that's what happens. I actually tried to be kind of cool the way I did it, and I messed up. Completely messed up. You know why? I bet. Is there people up there? There can't be people up there. See, I tried to act all cool. And look where it got me. 
Oh, wait, what? This guy's dead. Um, what? Nothing. Who's coming? If I knew, huh? What's wrong? Oh, man. <laughs> it's your fault. You got too curious. Okay, so like, now what? I got two dead bodies. How, how, why was he still dead? I'll interrogate someone one day. What's wrong, right? What's wrong? No, nothing what's wrong. Nothing's wrong. That guy there is no longer there. Hmm. Let's go on the opposite side, it looks like. I wonder. Let's, uh... Move you more into shade. Full, apparently. I, I don't know their movements yet. I don't know how many are here. Oh, I could have gone under a truck, maybe. Under a truck's good. I have to go under the truck. Uh, let's change my camo. Make some plus 80. Wait, how about my face? Can't really help it. Under the truck I go. Ugh, smells like gasoline. At least I'm 80% in here. Can't see me, dude. Problem is, I also can't shoot. See, once I hit the light, though, I'm going to be, like, completely vulnerable. Where's this guy going? Maybe if I... Where does he go? He doesn't go all the way. I'm just concerned about that guy's vision. That's why interrogating is hard. You, you can't just... The, the guards are kind of like overlapping, so you have to take out most of them first and then interrogate like the last guy. That's the way I see it. And killing is your better option because uh, if they, if they, I have a feeling they can wake up if they go to sleep. Problem is, I can't do anything right now. Under this truck. Oh, wait, because I, I don't have the gun. Okay, that's why. I was like, okay, use the gun. Hmm. I wonder. I don't see anyone else. I don't see anyone else here. He could be one of the last ones, but now the guard's kind of in the sight. I would so go interrogate him if I figured that I could make it to him. Problem is, it's so slow to get to him. That it might actually be faster to kill him. Problem is, that body. The only way I could do it... 
I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to kill him. I had to. You know why? Because that body was in the line of sight. Oops. Don't want to waste any. That body was in the line of sight for him. I'm too timid to interrogate. I get, you get good, some good dialogue out of it maybe, but like I said, it's like, God damn, that thing's always around. But now's the time to regroup my ammo stuff. You got something? I'm mostly getting full. Back here is nothing. I guess I could talk to someone. That's not talking. Uh, so you see, if I take my time, I don't make a lot of progress, Snake, but then I don't get caught. Next to you is an enemy armory. Mm. As you might have guessed, those armories you sometimes run into are. I was thinking, what happens to your voice? If you take out an armory, the enemy units in the area will have their ammo supply cut off. How do you take it out? And if they know they're on their last leg, they'll use ammo a little more sparingly in a gunfight. Bottom line. If you blow up an armory, the enemy's firepower decreases. You can blow it up? By destroying an armory, you can cut off the enemy's supply of ammunition. That should make your job a lot easier. Well, yeah, I guess I'll do it then, won't I? How do you do it? You just blow it up? In what way? I see you've got yourself a ration. Hmm. Rations are portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. I've heard some nasty stories about how they taste. It looks like... Oh, I, I already too. tasted it. Great. Hey. You should be grateful. Those things are designed to last. I've heard this dialogue no already. How long you keep a ration, it'll okay. never go back. Okay, we've already heard this one. I hate talking to this guy, but I will. <laughs> so you're wearing the black camouflage. Oh my god. The black uniform you like the black camouflage because you're black, right? It was intended to have a psychological shock effect on enemies and hostage rescue operations. What about my zombie like face? What is that supposed to do? it should also make you pretty hard to see if you wear it in a dark environment. And it might also work on black, earthy surfaces like you find in swamps. No, oh, at least it wasn't too long. All right, so you're supposed to blow up an armory. First, take what I want. TNT. Hold in first person view and shoulder aim. I'm on target fire mode. Presser on and off. Well, that's new. Really, you're hungry again, Snake? Not half bad, not half bad. Okay, eat. I hope it's not rotten. Disgusting. Apparently it's disgusting. Alright, well, let's see one of you. There we go. I right, stick with what I know. I got TNT. Is that how I do it? I said TNT in here and then get the hell out of here? I'm nervous about that though. Like, I don't know. How do you blow it up? <laughs> I just barge through the door. I guess that's one way. Alright. So, I guess backpack. Let's check my stuff here. Okay, let's see. I don't need that. I know where people are. Oh, wait. Doesn't matter anyway. It's in my weapons. Okay, we don't need a torch. It's like a sniper, right? Hmm. Get rid of this one. Oh, no, wait. WP. No, wait. Can I see what TNT's for? Oh, remote detonator. Okay, press that to set and then. Run, 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 run! that work um I guess it did right I hope that's what it did see you can only do that when everyone's dead okay there's like one door there one door there what's the house any under this tank any more suppressors I'm gonna have a collection of supp there's actually nothing under here that's pointless Could be something back there. 
What's with all the grass? Hey, look, another entryway. Oh, look, goodies. Claymore. Yeah, that's full. Oh, well, I guess I'll head inside then. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What am I getting myself into here, I wonder? Oh, I'm inside. Whoa. Hi. Oyama! I got the face of Oyama. Eh. Eh. Here we go. Eh. Alright. My camouflage doesn't really matter here. How much do I bet there's a boss fight coming up? Hmm. Hello. Guard still. Well, I wonder if he could see me through under here. I think plus ten. Not very good. And then Huh <laughs> zombie. Hope he can't see me. I hope he's the only guard. I think he's the only one. No. All I hear are people coming in and out of doors. I hope you don't have the Black Plague. I don't know. Are they just going in and out of doors? They are. What the hell? And I can't even see until I leave. Okay, it looks like he is the only one here. Even though I hear a lot of stuff. I hear a lot of footsteps. I can't tell who's coming from where. I don't think there's any doors here, so he's the only one who can be here. Granted, this part's gonna end soon anyway. Like, I hear someone, but where? I, like, I'm trying to listen to the audio, but I don't think that's actually helpful. It doesn't give me... I think it's just sound effects. I think it's just sound effects mostly, because like I just keep hearing doors and I see no one. There's only one door that leads out of here. Yep, pretty much. So my best bet is to like grab him. He I can interrogate. Just what's the perfect timing? If I could leave right now oh, no, he turns around too fast. When he turns around and go out the door would be my best shot. Problem is, th the slowness of trying to get behind him. What the? Nothing! Great, and the alarm got... Who saw me? Who saw me? The only good thing is they can't get in here. I hope they don't crawl. They're usually not that smart. I could try and throw a grenade at them. I have a lot of grenades. Boom! I'm killing 
killing a lot of people just by grenading them. Did someone just, like, die? <laughs> oh, that's one way to get about them. I am a bit hurt. Yeah, well, now they don't know where I am. They're not, they're, they're not smart enough to crawl inside. They just kind of bend down and try to shoot you. See, every time I try to act fancy and start like interrogating or something, I just get caught anyway. You know, it doesn't work out to my favor ever. That's why I end up killing them half the time. And in evasion, it's like they know where I am. Yeah, that's why I end up just shooting them. Because in the end, when I try to I try to interrogate, I I I would have had a good time to do it, but you see what happened? He still noticed me. And when you stand up, you can't camouflage yourself. I gotta have to ask for advice for sure on this one and the codex, I guess. You've lost sight of the enemy. Yep. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. He's gone, man. I, I mean, this thing's in my way. Well, I mean, it's too late anyways to continue on. <laughs> Look at the caution in my way. I guess it'd be a good time to save. Saving the game, Snake? Yeah. I'm calling it a game. You shouldn't do that. Because then you're breaking the fourth wall. You know. Oh well. I made slow progress. Are you happy with that? I'm going to end up having to alert them anyway because I can't figure out unless Snake, I alert have them. You ever seen Jason and the Argonauts? I heard that's a good one. I can't say I have. It's I apparently have some good stop motion. There's this ship called the Argo, and it sets sail in search of the Golden Fleece. Along the way, it encounters many dangers. They run into all kinds of monsters, like bronze giants and the deadly seven-headed hydra and the vicious bird-like harpies. The most spectacular part of all was the battle scene with an army of skeletons. It was like they were actually standing up and fighting. Are you serious? If you don't believe me, go see it for yourself. Then you'll understand the magic of movies. It was totally amazing. Yeah, all right. If I make it back alive, I'll go see it. It just came uh -huh. out, so I'm sure it'll still be playing. I don't know how long this mission's gonna take anyway. Alright then. Man, the scanlines look terrible on uh, this part. But anyways, thanks for watching, I guess. Um, I'm gonna try and get past this part to Sokolov. I have to take my time, I think, or else uh, I'll never make it. So long!